that newer Ram style grill and also changed out, put the big Ram letters in the front. But the smoked out LED uh, tail lights. He's 24 by 14, Corleone Forge is your hit. What's up YouTube? Y'all already know who it's your boy Tay Man. Y'all already know when I get on YouTube, it do get crazy, gang. But what's crazy is, man, I done did a whole lot of stuff to this to my Dodge Ram. You know what I'm saying? My uh my custom built Dodge Ram that I'm working on right now. You know what I'm saying? It was basically like when I first started the video. If you go back to my last video, then you'll see that uh it was just a basic stock. Nothing different. Uh nothing. Nothing special about it. Everyday Dodge Ram and I decided to turn it into something special. Something crazy, you feel me? So, um, I've been working on it. That's why, I mean, I call myself trying to do like a video every day or every other day. But man, I looked at my um, channel and I ain't did a video since, since seven days. But I've got a lot done within that seven days. And we actually finna work on the lift kit. But before we can even get to the lift kit, I'm planning on doing a lift kit today, one day. Lift it up seven inches. We we really finna go there today. That's the plan. But before we can even do that, man, uh, the shop is a mess. Plus, I gotta get some food. Plus, I wanna show y'all what I done did to the truck since then. Let's get to it. And we're gonna jump right into it, man. If you didn't watch my previous video, video, go ahead and do that, man. Make sure on this video, leave a comment, like, comment, share, subscribe. That's the only way this channel gonna get bigger. For the people that's been rocking with me for the longest, y'all already know y'all part of the It Do Get Crazy gang. But look, check this out for the people that, that's new to this channel. You can go back and watch my videos, man. I picked this truck up from the auction pretty much to be an everyday work truck. I um, bought it. I picked it up with the blown motor in it and uh, brought it back to my shop, which is over there. I'm right across the street from my shop. I picked it up, uh, put a new motor in it, and I drove it straight to Miami. I drove it straight to Miami to pick up parts for my Maybach. But when I bought this truck, when I first picked it up on the auction, I already knew it had potential to be a machine, you know what I'm saying? So not just a basic everyday truck. So, you know, I just wanted to bring something new to my channel, bring some uh, different type of content to my channel. I always buy trucks like this or any type of vehicles, fix them and then sell them. But I wanted to bring something different to my channel. So instead of, um, you know, using it as an everyday truck, I just want to show off my skills to how I can turn a normal truck, everyday basic work truck, into a decent looking machine, you feel me? So that's what we doing on this video. And I got a nice set of off-road wheels for it, but we're gonna talk about in this video what I done did to it so far. If you wanna see what it looked like before this, then go to my last video and check it out. As I blacked out the Ram emblems, right there. That, that gives it that, and you know, it's matching with the tinted windows, the black door handles, the black mirror, all that goes with that whole black and uh, silver theme that I'm going for. So what I decided to do, okay, cool, we're gonna move to the front. That thing looking good, boy. That thing looking good based off uh, uh, what it looked off looked like last video. That thing looking good. What I did was I went with the smoked out headlights. And with these headlights, I actually put, I took the bulbs that came out, out of them and I put the original, I mean, I put the, uh, the, the bright color blue lights, I think they 6,000K. But yeah, I put the bright color blue lights, you know what I'm saying? I read with that uh that newer Ram style grill and I also changed out, put the big Ram letters in the front. Those letters actually light up with the headlights. I'm gonna turn them on when it get a little bit darker so y'all can see exactly what it look like. But yeah, we went with the smoked out headlights. Also, a lot of the guys take this um, lower dam off, air dam I think that's called. They take that off, but I like that look because it goes with my, like I say, my black and silver uh, uh, theme that I'm going for. So it was broken last video. Instead of, instead of me um, taking it off and just leaving it off, I decided to just replace it, put a brand new one on. So, uh, and it's gonna look better. When it's lifted up like that, when it's lifted and you see the big wheels, man, it's gonna, that air dam just make it, make the wheels pop a little bit more. Back to this other side, man, I blacked out the, uh, the emblems on this side going with that whole black and silver uh, theme. Let's go around to the back of the third brake light. Y'all already know we had to go with that LED third brake light up there. Smoked out, of course. Smoked out, of course. And um, yes, yeah, sir, we also went with the third, uh, the, um, can't even really see them, but the smoked out LED uh, tail lights. But I think this big Ram sign on the back actually really, really made the back tailgate pop. It actually shows 
it just make it just give it that newer look you know what i mean in the back of the tailgate it just give it that newer look man so i had to go with that and uh yeah that's what i got done for right now but trust and believe is all about the details it's all about the details when you're building cars man and i ain't done with the details on this one and from the last video i mean from the video that i mean from earlier in the video a lot of y'all probably didn't notice but yeah the headliner is gone yes yeah, sir the headliner is gone in this thing so y'all already know that man we got the suave headliner coming with the starlight headliner kit and also i always had the stock uh turn this air off I always had the stock radio in here so what i decided to do was go ahead and put a, um a double d and carplay radio in there what would a double d and carplay radio let me get back to work man i don't want to talk y'all ear off because what's gonna happen is I'm going to end up not making a video. I'm going to get lazy. So, yeah, let me see. Turn this camera around. So, yeah, man, nine times out of ten, next time y'all see this truck, this truck will be lifted. Seven inches, sitting on off-road, 24 by 14, uh, 24 by, yeah, 14 Corleone, Corleone Forge with the big caps, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we turn this thing into a machine. I'm trying to get my thumbnail right now, y'all. That's why I'm sitting here pausing like that. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, stay tuned to the video, man. Let's get this thing lifted. Before I can even uh, think about doing any lift kits or really working on anything, really, man, this shop is a mess. I know it's dirty. Because last time I was in here, I did that transmission job. Shit was everywhere. Yeah, just like I thought. Just like I remembered. Shit everywhere. So yeah, I gotta get this, I gotta get all this up before I can do anything, y'all. And I'ma um ah, Yeah, yeah, I gotta get this clean. Oil and everything, oil and shit there all right here. Transmission all hanging out. But what I need to do is I need to get my May back out the shop. Then I can focus on cleaning it up. I wish I had some help right now. Good to drive my baby. I ain't drove her in a little while now. I've been fo so focused on grinding, y'all. I ain't been able to even drive her. Then we got the May back outside of the shop. Man, my baby look good, man. My baby look good. But we not on this one right now. We not focused on we not focused on the Maybach right now. We working on this machine over here, man, that we building. But like I say, before we can even get started on that, we gotta work on this here, man. Look at this. Shout, matter of fact, y'all, before I even before I even continue this video, man, shout out to my brother Real Too Real, man. Make sure y'all go tap me in with his channel if you ain't already did, man. I think he's giving away a Hellcat over there too right now. But anyways, shout out to him, man, for the new camera, man. Y'all gotta get under his comments and let him know. Uh, uh, we do appreciate the camera on this side, man. Y'all talked about my footage so bad in the last video that my boy called me and said, "Hey, Tay, here go a whole camera, bro." <laughs> can't let you go and it's definitely a better quality i can see it in my own eyes y'all look at all that oil and um these here pads if you got a shop or work on cars man it's the best shit you could buy man those oil dry tiles they were blue they black now but it just matter of fact there they go right there they look like this they look like those but anyways uh they sucked up all the oil that was on that ground and i mean it was oil everywhere but yeah the shop is a mess right now um Still waiting on parts for this thing to come in so we can go ahead and finish this and get that out of the shop. Stock wheels. But this was going on there, y'all. This was going on there. These 24 by 14 Corleone Forges, you hit me? Big caps. 
they uh silver and black i don't know on this camera they look white and black to me but yeah that's what's uh that's what's going on we got the lift kit we got a few other things over here man let me yeah we got a few other things that's going on to the truck but i'm actually do the lift kit and then before i put the wheels on i'm actually uh do this at the same time so not only is we putting the, the starlight headliner kit in the truck but here go the ring lights for it. These gonna go around the back of the rim. So they gonna, you know, we turn the lights on, they gonna light up obviously late at night. Well, it's dark outside. Then we got our rock lights. We got our rock lights. I usually go with the rock lights that has like the little small little circles that pokes inside the uh, fender uh, lines. But I went with these, I want to try a different brand uh, and a little bit bigger light to try to bring more light out. And they all RGB, which is a uh, red, green, blue, pretty much any color you want. But yeah, man, uh, enough with the talking. Let me get started on cleaning this shop so we can, uh, yeah, we can get to the fun stuff. We can get to lifting this truck up. All right, y'all. So I actually even decided that I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna actually stop this video right here, and I'm gonna um, close down the shop for tonight, and I'm gonna pick up on the video tomorrow. I just feel like. I don't know, I just did a whole lot today and I really don't feel like it, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm the type that when I start working, I don't wanna stop, so. And it's already like nine o'clock at night right now, so I don't even wanna go into doing, starting this lift kit and then stopping basically to finish tomorrow. So my plan is to get up early in the morning and start on it, that way I can finish it. I mean, that, that way I can do the front and back in one day. And also that way I can go into putting the um, ring lights and running all the lights and stuff like that the following day if I need if I need to if I don't get to that because I'm also gonna clean it up I'm gonna spray it black under there and make it look clean and nice and clean um, up under the you know up under there before you install the parts so that way it look good when the lights turn on but um, think about that is if if I stop this video right here that means I can go ahead and get the content out you know what I'm saying I'm really trying to catch up on and be good at dropping content real um all the time basically you know what i'm saying be more active on youtube instagram really all my platforms speaking of that man if you're not following me on ig man tap in right now man i'm trying to get my numbers up and um yeah man go ahead and show some love man you here anyway you here rocking with your boy you might as well but uh before before i let y'all go man i just got to show y'all what these corleones finna look like on this joint man hold on it do get crazy when them Corleones finna be something nasty. Finna be something nasty, man. See, let me see if kind of can get a look of what that's gonna look like. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy, gang. I ain't gonna lie. That's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy. But yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and pick up on the video tomorrow. Shutting the shop down for today, it's over with, man. But I do, I am prepared. I'm ready to go tomorrow, man. I got everything laid out. Everything laid out and ready to go, man. I even did, the, did a good deed by putting all my tools in, back in the right place. Yeah, I'm ready to go, man. Yeah, I'm ready to go, y'all. Okay, bye.